Well, hello there. Happy Thursday. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and night and evening and all that stuff. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the parable of casting seeds. What does that mean? Well, stay tuned. Uh, but first, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's called Basic Blue. I guess I'm trying to explain things in a basic way, but whatever. It's just a name. Uh, I talk about religion and politics on this channel and everything you're not supposed to talk about on a first date. So what is the parable of seeds? Well, it is a, a biblical kind of reference. Uh, it actually occurs in Matthew. I have the thing up here from, uh, if you want to check it out, Matthew 13. And it goes quite a bit into uh, the parable of the seeds. I thought I would do another parable video because the last one seemed to do okay. To my surprise, <laughs> I was not expecting that many views. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for you know, giving the likes and the views and the new subscribers that I see on my channel. So what a wonderful blessing. So this parable is going to be straight out of the Bible, but I guess I'm just going to kind of give my own version of it. The parable of the seeds, if you're not familiar with it, it talks about casting like literal seeds. Okay. So if you think about, you know, how a plant works, <laughs> you got to start with a seed, right? And then you got to uh, well, there's some steps in the middle there. You got to water it and then it's going to have sun. It's got to have all the right conditions, right? If you've ever tried to grow a plant, you know that sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, you know, over the years I've tried to grow things and right now, uh, where is the plant? I should have had it ready. I have one. Well, it's over there. It's growing pretty good. Okay, but I had to cast quite a few seeds in the dirt. It's one of those ones that has like a purple and green kind of look on the, on the leaves. And, um, you know, it, it finally has started to grow. But I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that the parable of the seeds in the Bible talks about trying to reach out to other people and share the good news. And for a lot of people, it, it's like, what do you even mean? You know, and so that's kind of the nature of throwing out the seed is to try and get other people to become curious about the mystery of God. And once you start to experience that in your own life, um, you know, you kind of have more of a willingness and a desire to throw out those seeds to others. You know, some people might call it evangelism. Um, I'm not quite doing the the door to door like uh, some of the denominations tend to, but you know the concept is similar, and I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this kind of already understand what this means. Like if you want to convey an idea to someone, um, sometimes it it's not the first attempt, okay, that works. Uh, my career has been in advertising and making commercials. I think I've alluded to this in other videos before. I'm a video editor. Yeah, I get in front of the camera and do this sort of thing, but you know, you guys can probably tell I'm <laughs> I'm kind of introverted. I'm not like the normal kind of loud person that you'll find on YouTube. So most of the time I'm working in video editing and a lot of the things I've done over the years involve advertising. Why do I bring that up? Well, um, advertising most of the time is definitely not holy, okay? It's trying to get you to buy something material. But a lot of times it doesn't work the first time that somebody hears um, a commercial, you know, or sees one. Think about it yourself. How many times have you had to hear something uh, through a commercial before you decided to buy the product? I think the number I've heard before is something like three to five times. That the average person has to hear something uh, before they choose to act upon it, you know, so if it's maybe like a new truck or something, you know, the first time you see an advertisement for the new F-150, you might just kind of ignore it because it's a commercial. Second, third time, fourth time, finally, you're starting to, oh, yeah, I, I didn't know it had that feature on it or whatever. That's kind of like planting a seed. That's kind of how advertising works. Um, you have to do it repetitively over and over and over again. So casting seeds in terms of spiritual awareness 
it's basically the same thing. Okay, Jesus talks about this. Um, you know, right at the beginning, um, I'll, I'll kind of start off with uh, 13.3. He told many stories in the form of parables such as this one. Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on a footpath and the birds came and ate them. <laughs> so those seeds are not going to grow, right? But the birds got to eat, so... Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the, seed, the soil was shallow. But the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they didn't have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out tender plants. Still, other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as can plant it. Anyone with ears hear should listen and understand. So the parable of the seeds is, is talking about how sometimes you can try to communicate a message to someone and their heart is just hardened. You know, they, they, they don't want to hear that at all. Um, I have family members that are like that. Uh, this is a big struggle in my own life that... <sighs> You know, all of you that are watching this video right now, you might assume that, oh, that's easy for him to say, you know, he's got it all made. And it, no, my family life is kind of like, you know, it, it could be better, I guess you could say. But part of that is that when you kind of put your foot down and you say that, well, this is what I believe in and I think this is right and this is just, some people are going to take issue with that in your life. And it's unfortunate, but that's kind of the way that this goes. So the casting those seeds is important. You know, I would say even to people that uh, <laughs> maybe they're the equivalent of like a sidewalk. You know, you, you cast the seed and it bounces on that hard surface. And you wish that it would grow, you know, but it doesn't. But, I mean, to keep on making this parable, sidewalks could have cracks. You know, there, there might be a little piece of dirt. And if you throw enough seeds, uh, you might find that the seed kind of works its way into one of those cracks in somebody's life. Um, so I think the point of this video, just that I'm trying to make here, is that, you know, I've already said in some other videos that if you're just starting along your spiritual journey, and I gotta believe that there's some people that are watching this that are you know, kind of on that path. And if I'm the one that gets to cast the seed and, and you can have some water, or if you can add water to that seed, well, if it's a good seed, then it'll grow into a good plant. And then eventually, you know, you'll have a whole garden. Obviously there's a metaphor here, right? But casting those seeds in your life, um, one of the things that's really important to remember is to try and get um, enough in tune with God to where you're actually praying regularly. And so you can actually ask him for the right words to say to other people in your lives if you want to try to reach out to them. Uh, that's something that, that's between you and God. I, I can't tell you the right words in other words, I can't give you the right kind of seeds necessarily to reach those other people in your lives. I'm still working on that. You know, I'm not some sort of pro at this, but I think you should, you should hear my words as a source of encouragement. Okay? If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe to my videos. But furthermore, I want you to leave a comment and let me know if you've tried to cast, you know, a seed to somebody in your life, okay, and how that went. Um, one of the things that's really important, I think, with Christianity in particular, um, is it should feel like food. It should feel like you're consuming bread or something like that, okay? As you read... And as you watch videos that are about Christianity, about spirituality, 
those are kind of like seeds. Okay, Th those seeds are trying to kind of come into your heart. And it's up to you to keep on watering them. You know, walking in the light is, is kind of the metaphor there a little bit, but you also have to add water to it. If you allow the spirit to come into your soul, you'll feel a sense of wholeness that you might not have experienced in the past. Uh, it, it's something that's, it's a little hard to explain, <laughs> but part of the reason why I'm making these videos is that I feel like we're going through some very dark times. You know, um, things that happened just recently with the Olympics, for instance, uh, things that are probably kind of disturbing to people generally that's happened in our society. Um, you know, it seems like we're on the brink of World War III. There's a lot of different reasons that people are probably in need of some sort of hope right now. So if you think that's like, you know, like what difference can I make? Probably not that much, okay? But if I help plant a seed in someone else, like you that's watching this video, well, now all of you can do the same thing that I'm doing, all right? All of you can cast seeds as well. Pretty soon, that's like a, a powerful concept, right? Because it's not just me anymore. It's like a whole army, basically, <laughs> okay? And if you continue to live in that sort of spiritual way, it, and mind you, that is not like when you, I don't want to say convert, but just when you kind of take on this, this presence in your heart and you invite Jesus into your heart, Okay, it's a different feeling, but you constantly have to water that seed. It's not like you can just, you know, take some sort of oath and then you're done. All right, I was saved in 2010. That's, that's a while ago. That's, you know, 14 years ago. And it's just now that I feel like I'm fully kind of like trying to encapsulate that feeling and then tell other people about it. Uh, you know, obviously the events of July 13th were traumatic for a lot of people. Uh, some people that are watching this video might roll their eyes and say, well, that wasn't traumatic at all. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I would say that there are probably too many coincidences that have occurred now to where God basically tries to give miracles for people to witness, and then it's up to you to acknowledge them. If you think that faith is supposed to be 100% provable, well then why would it require a leap of faith, all right? When you plant that seed, you kind of have to use your imagination to know that it could turn into something great, right? You have to envision that the seed can grow okay, into something more. Now, that requires faith. And you can say, well, yeah, but we know that plants grow. I knew it was going to turn into the tomato plant or whatever. Sort of, yeah. I mean, if you plant the tomato seed, then it's not probably going to grow a banana or a, <laughs> or a zucchini. It's going to turn into a tomato. But you didn't really know that the seed is going to grow or not, right? You kind of had to have faith. Uh, through water and sunshine and habitual checking on the plant to make sure it's okay. You know, all of those things, make sure it's not in too much shade and not too much uh, sunshine and all that kind of stuff. Make sure the temperature is right. You know, is it going to, is it going to freeze overnight? Is it going to get cold out at night? You can keep on going with that metaphor as much as you want, but hopefully, you know, Smash that like button if you understand what I'm saying. Um, you know, so casting seeds is is very important. And I would say that it's probably the most important time uh, that we could be doing that. Okay? And it, I would even go so far as to say that it, at first... You don't really need to go heavily into biblical stuff to get people to kind of, you know, try to truly wake up a little bit. Like, 
We're not just on a rock floating through space. All right, that's not a particularly hopeful scenario. So casting those seeds makes sure that well, at least some of us are going to kind of, you know, continue to grow right, in, in spirituality. And I think if you're more aware of that over time, it's going to give everybody more hope. Uh, I think that's what the world has kind of lost, particularly from days of COVID and all that kind of stuff, uh, where they were shutting down churches and all that kind of stuff. You know, so if you think it's weird that I'm doing all this stuff religiously, it's kind of a combination of what we've been going through. Okay, so to wrap things up, it's it's just, it's really important to try and, you can pretend I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? If there's one thing you can get out of this video, it's that all of you have the same power that I have, and it's, it's not really my power. We talked about that in the last video. It's God's power, okay? He's going to give you the seeds. You just got to chuck them out there. <laughs> Thanks for watching.